Hey my dear family, uh, this is Luna the Moon Tarot. Today we will be doing a pick up pile reading for love, lust or loss. So uh, let's start without a further ado. Do keep in mind that the energies can be interchangeable. So we'll be picking out few cards for you, for them and the outcome. In front of you, I've kept three decks. One is with the pyrite. One is a normal uh, selenite, this one. And this is citrine. These are three crystals. So choose a deck which you feel most drawn to right now, intuitively. Just close your eyes, take a deep breath, and see which crystal draws you the most. This is a love, lust, loss reading for you and your person, person most on your mind. Few cards for you, few cards for them and the outcome. As I said, do keep in mind that the energies can be interchangeable and the time is fluid. It may, may not resonate with each and every one of you. So keep in mind, this is a collective spread. I'm going to give you another 30 seconds and then we are going to start with the reading here. Please choose a crystal you are most drawn to here. This is pyrite, this is selenite and this is citrine. I hope that you guys have chosen your crystal. Now let's start with your reading. This is a timeless reading. So no matter when you're uh, you know, uh, watching this particular reading, this is a timeless. If you are watching this particular reading, then it is meant to find you at this time, right? So let's start guys without a further ado. So we are going to start with the pyrite. Meanwhile, let me keep it aside. So this is a reading for my dear lovely viewers who have chosen this particular crystal, which is pyrite. Let's see. For people who have chosen pyrite, let's see what does the oracle has to say in your case. This is for my lovely subscribers. This is a love, lust and loss reading for the people who have chosen pyrite. What is it that they need to know? For people who have chosen pyrite, what is it that they need to know? What is it that they need to know? Love, lust, loss. For people who have chosen pyrite. Oops, too many. Tower, unplug and relax for a spell and gray, endings are inevitable. At the bottom of the deck, we have endings are inevitable and tower, unplug and relax for a spell. You are being asked whatever separation or the ending that you are going through right now or a no contact period or a separation that you're going through right now. You are being advised to just take a break. Unplug from the normal hustle and bustle of life. 
and just concentrate on self just concentrate on self healing right now whatever things that are going in your life right now you are being asked not to not to get bothered by them so we are going to draw few cards here few cards for you few cards for them and the outcome so let's see what is it that is going on whether it's love lust or loss for the people who have chosen fire right few cards for you please love lust or loss give me three cards for them three cards for you people one more one more please for you few cards for you mm -hmm. three for them please We have four, so I'm gonna keep it back. Few cards for you, few cards for them. We have few cards for you. What about them? Three cards for them. Love, lust, or loss. Three cards for them. What is the outcome? One more card, please. What is the outcome? For the people who have chosen pyrite, I feel that somewhere down the line, you and your person, there was a travel or probably something related to job which was involved in the past. There was some kind of relocation, some kind of decision that was involving a relocation. If not a relocation, then there was a decision to be made with regards to their job. This job, that job, this project, that project, old project or the new project. There was some kind of confusion that they were going through in their job somewhere down the line can be also a possibility that they were deciding whether to commit whether to come forward and send you a message or not right now i feel that there is some kind of a no contact or a separation period going on right now for few of you, I also believe either you or your person is writing and deleting text. Your person is trying to reach out to you, but then they don't know how to.
and for few of you i feel that you will be soon receiving a message from them a very grounded message that you'll be getting from them a message wherein they will ask you to meet them a message wherein they will ask you to break breads with them to have a party with them to have drinks with them a kind of a get together a kind of a reunion that they would like to go ahead and do but there is a reconciliation coming in for you guys soon pretty soon i see that they are stalking you right now on your social media there's lot many things that they are trying to research about you as in what you are uh, how you have been what you are up to and this no contact or a separation period what exactly things are with you how exactly things are with you they are trying to inquire about you as well in case if they are not on your social media or if you are not on your social media they are trying to inquire about you through common friends but then be careful because it is also a possibility there can be some kind of misunderstanding that can develop because of uh no communication uh you know any any a friend uh, or somebody can go ahead and uh you know kind of create some kind of confusion here i see that they are now ready to take a leap of faith and they are ready to start from the beginning whatever situations that you have faced in the past or you have been facing currently uh, you know uh, right now these situations are going to get resolved pretty soon because i see a communication coming in a reconciliation coming in for you soon right for you people i feel that you know you are right now being called towards this particular connection you are living all the moments that you have spent with this person you are reliving all those moments all those uh, memories that you have made with this person and you are just not able to come out of it it's like replaying in your mind time and time again time and over again whatever love that you both shared whatever moments you shared whatever promises you gave each other you know that is something that is keeping you stuck on this particular person however because of the pain because of the no contact period you have become really cold and you are not showing what exactly you are going through or you are feeling to this person you are not disclosing anything you are trying to focus on your work so that you can go ahead and forget or move on from him or her from your person most on your mind right now but definitely there is a no contact or a separation period which is going on right now right you are unable to move you are unable to forget your person you are unable to forget your person here but in order for you to keep your sanity in order for you to keep uh yourself calm and not to get bothered or not to get uh, into anxiety or panic attacks you are trying to take off your mind you are trying to uh you know to focus on work so that you are not thinking about this person again and again and losing your sanity over this issue and you have become very cold wherein you are not ready to disclose what you are feeling what you are going through to anybody right now you're keeping your business to yourself only thing that you are doing right now is a lot of self work you that's why you've been asked to unplug and relax for a while don't take things don't be don't take things uh, don't push yourself too hard here right for some of you i feel that you are dealing with your divine counterpart because we have 
king of swords in their, their feelings and queen of swords in your feelings you are definitely dealing with your divine counterpart here it can be somebody you already know from your past life but there is a very strong magnetic pull that you both have towards each other there is a kind of knowingness that you have for each other this is a sort of a karmic connection that was bound to happen this union is bound to happen because the person that you are connected with is your divine counterpart i somehow feel that your person right now feels a little uh you know that you are moving on from them because you are giving them a cold shoulder they feel that you are now you are now moving on from them or you have moved on from them they see you as somebody who is worth giving a commitment who is worth getting married to who is worth many things for few of you i feel that you are earning good or you belong from a good progressive and financially strong family so that is also one thing that attracts your person the most about you they see you as somebody who's very classy but at the same point of time knows your values your traditions since you are giving them a cold shoulder they have also been giving you a cold shoulder so none of you is initiating any kind of conversation but let's see what is the outcome here i see your person reaching out with an apology maybe but i see your person reaching out to you pretty soon and it is not long that they are going to reach out to you they are reaching out to you with a lot of emotions with a lot of passion and a and a ask for a new beginning and you will be you will be saying a yes to it you will be saying a yes to it you will be emotional about this connection you will be emotional about the they the way they will approach you i see that there will be a lot of emotional exchange that is going to happen between you and your person here right and it will make you emotionally very 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 happy you're going to be on top of the world that your person has approached you your person has approached you i see a new beginning a new passionate beginning pretty soon coming in in your life that can happen by the end of this month itself it is the energy is fast moving energy wands it's a fast moving energy few of you can be dealing with a fire sign here or an air but this reconciliation is going to happen and there is a lot of love involved you both see each other in a very bright light here there is expect an apology there is an apology coming in there is a grounded message that is coming in a new start fresh beginning and a leap of faith is involved here it is involved here so people who have chosen pyrite for you it is love it is love the fresh not a new person but it is fresh beginning a new beginning that is going to enter that is going to happen in your life now which is good with the same person that you think about the most all right now this turn for people who have chosen selenite all right guys now for people who have chosen selenite i would request you to please uh, think about the person most on your mind right now 
and then we are going to uh, take out cards for your for you for them and the outcome here this is for the people who have chosen selenite in this particular deck this is for them love lust or loss cards for you card for them and the outcome please card for you card for them and the outcome please is it love lust or loss and before we start with this deck let's see what is the message that we have for you this is love lust and loss for people who have chosen selenite in this particular deck remember that the time is fluid this is a collective pick up pile reading may may not resonate with you all this is love lust and loss for people who have chosen selenite in this particular deck what is it they need to know give me one card to angels thank you Love, lust, and loss. wings you never needed those wings to fly bottom of the deck we have which justice is coming for people who have chosen this particular crystal selenite you are being advised that the justice that you've been waiting for is coming and you never needed anybody's guidance opinion to validate yourself you never needed anyone's advice you are enough for yourself and the justice is coming there has been things that has gone wrong with your person in the past probably did the wrong to you or something that came up which you were not comfortable with let's see what the reading has to say this one is for so we'll be taking out few cards for you three cards for you love lust or loss three cards for my people who have chosen selenite right I was right. One more. One more piece. Thank you. Oops. Plenty. One more piece. Yeah. Oh, we have four here. I'm going to take this one back because these were the top three that I have chosen. Three for them. Love, lust, and loss for the people who have chosen selenite. Three cards for your person. Let's see what is the outcome here. Three cards as the outcome in this connection. One more, please. What is the outcome here? Okay, so the people 
who have chosen for the people who have chosen this particular deck and selenite as their crystal i see that there has been some kind of there has been problems there has been some problems and there is something that you got to know which which didn't go well with you right which didn't go well in this particular connection you thought that your person is the one you were ready to give a commitment you were ready to settle down with your person you were ready to start a family to you were ready to go ahead and get married to you thought that your person is loyal towards you but then things didn't really go well right and there were things that you got to know which made you lose your trust in them which made you lose this relationship or which made you let go of this particular relationship they were things that didn't go well and then all of a sudden you started backtracking to how this person approached you how this person was when they approached you and when you fell in love with this person how things were right and now oh my god did you see that bottom of the deck we had a witch and the justice is coming and we have justice here I somehow feel for few of you who are married here, very few of you who are married here, I feel that uh, you are going through a separation or a divorce because of some situation that didn't go down well, probably some kind of betrayal or something. And now you're waiting for justice. You're waiting for justice. There are some kind of legal issues uh, going on in the court, right? And you're waiting for justice to serve for god to serve the justice to you for universe to serve the justice to you because i see a lot of patience that you are maintaining in this particular connection for few of you who are single again there has been some kind of backstabbing or some kind of trust which was broken here and again you're waiting for justice to be served in this situation let's see what does your card say i see that in this particular entire connection you have been very very uh, challenged you felt very challenged to keep up this connection or to keep going this particular connection and i see there's a breakup there is a no contact and a separation that you are in already right now you feel that there are a lot of troubles a lot of challenges a lot of jealousy a lot of competition in this particular situation a lot of jealousy a lot of possessiveness which is involved there can be a third party situation or your person has been cheating there has been things which you were not told hidden things because of which you felt betrayed you felt cheated you fe you felt played upon and you feel really 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 sad about how things went in this particular connection because you gave it all you gave it all and now what have you received you yourself are ready i mean you yourself are so messed up because you are seeking justice but remember you guys justice will be served karma never holds back karma will definitely take its time but justice will be served the my only advice to you is 
just don't lose any more time being in this connection or in this relationship or in this marriage thinking that when is it that my person is going to go through what I have gone through. The thing is, you need to forget, forgive and move on and leave it on karma, leave it on God, leave it on universe. Justice will be served and it is coming. Trust me, it is coming. By October, there has, there has to be some things, few things that will definitely happen. Your person's energy. I feel that your person gave you a commitment in the past. But then I see that even if they gave you a commitment in the past of getting married, settling down with you, they showed you dreams of having kids, being together, they were at the same point of time backstabbing you. Right? They were backstabbing you here. And the minute you got to know, they walked away. They walked away from the situation. They ran away from the situation. They backstabbed you. They left you alone. They showed you all the dreams. They, you know, they went ahead with that, but then they couldn't keep up. For few of you, I feel that their false mask fell off. They couldn't keep up to what they promised. They couldn't. Rather, there were a lot of competition and jealousy that I see that, you know, they were into. They couldn't keep up and they walked away from this connection. There were a lot of lies. What they showed, they were not. They came out to be a different person altogether. You are being advised to move on now. I see that is what you will be doing right now. Right now, you are literally manifesting. You are manifesting. You are self-healing. You have taken back the charge. You have taken back the control on your life. You have taken uh, back the control on your emotions. You are healing yourself. For few of you, I feel that you're even manifesting, meditating, self-healing. There's a lot of self-work which is going on right now. I see a person coming towards you with full charge to speak to you. But then it's up to you whether you will or you will not. But I see once this person comes and speaks to you, that is the time that you're going to be free because i see you rejecting them that's enough is enough you have already caused a lot of ja damage but them coming back and speaking to you will free will free you in a way it is going to give you a lot of boost confidence that you know they came back and i was the one to reject them even if they walked away or not but last say is mine They will be coming up, they will be coming towards you to speak to you. But then you're going to be like, I'm, I want to be free and you will be emotionally satisfied. For few of you, I feel that you are heavily getting into uh, spirituality. You're getting in tune with yourself right now. And that is how you're healing yourself. And that is how you're freeing yourself. Do you see this card? Nine of Cups and Wings. Such, I mean... First, we had justice. Now we have wings and nine of cups. You are going to get your redemption here, I would say. <laughs> you're going to be free and you're going to live your life and you're going to feel that, what the hell, man? Where was I stuck? With this man or with this woman? This is life and I'm free. And you'll be very happy and content very happy and content so for the people who have chosen selenite this is a loss for them not for you it's a loss for them because i see you happy i see you coming out as a winner and living your life to the fullest but 
for them, it's a loss. Right? It's a loss for them. For the people who have chosen this particular deck and this crystal, which is citrine, let's see what is it that you need to know. This is for the people who have chosen citrine as their crystal in this particular deck. Love, lust or loss, what is it that you need to know? Love, lust or loss for the people who have chosen Citrine or this particular deck. Love, lust or loss. This is a pick a pile. Love, lust or loss for people who have chosen citrine in this particular deck. Give me one card, dear angels. Thank you. Let them go. Three. You are being advised to let your partner go. We are definitely going to see what exactly is happening here through tarot. But for now, it's the time for healing, not war castle it's time for healing not war you are being advised to let your person go and now it's not the time for war it's the time for healing so you need to let them go let's see what the tarot has to say a few cards for you a few cards for them and the outcome this is love lust loss please think about the person who is on your mind please cards for you three cards for you please thank you so much angel give me three cards please it's for you cards for you too many cards for you okay Cards for them. One more, please, dear angel. The outcome. cards for the outcome please two more One more, please. In the outcome. Just one more. chosen citrine in this particular deck I see that for now you 
you want to stay single you want to stay single and you want to focus on your work right now you want to focus on your coins right now you're done with enough of bs in your life and now you want to be single you want to earn money you want to be you want to have a career you're focusing on your career right now i see that you've been very defensive very defensive about your person you don't want to get your heart broken you're already wounded for few of you i feel that you have either blocked them or they have blocked you but then there is very defensive energy that i see very wounded energy that i see here and i see that you are being very indecisive you are standing at a crossroad wherein you don't know what to do you kind of blindfolded you don't see a direction here where to go what to choose what is right for you and what is wrong for you and i see you going into solitude maybe dealing with a virgo here but i see you going into a solitude state of mind wherein you are not socializing interacting with many people you're not even so uh, interacting with your own person most on your mind right now you are self healing self reflecting there's lot many questions that are going on in your mind right now right and you don't know whether to send them a message or not you're thinking figuring it out whether to send them a message or not <sighs> let's see what are your feelings towards them i see that you are very confused and you do have options in life there are people who have approached you with an offer but then you don't know where to go and what to choose should you be with this person should you or should you just move on to something better bigger and better and i see a new passion igniting in you for somebody else here there's a lot of thought process that is going on regarding your connection with the person that you were thinking about right now the person that you were connected with there's a lot of thoughts a lot of thoughts that that has gone in this particular connection but i see you moving on to a new and a better one whatever uh, choices that you were supposed to make you are getting a clarity you have done a lot of self reflection and you know a lot of self work a lot of things that you have thought about and now you're moving to some something which is bigger and better something a new beginning a new passionate beginning and you are letting them go you're letting this person go what they are feeling they want to speak to you can be dealing with a cancerian or a gemini here but they want to speak to you here they want to come forward they want to speak to you because their world is changing 360 degrees they thought that you are the one and they are your soulmate and you both are each other soulmate but things didn't go well things didn't go well why the lovers are here let's see let's take out some clarifications here what really happened why did you let them go what was the confusion here i think that this particular connection was also based upon a lot of physical attraction you know though it's a lovers card it's a soulmate card but at the same point of time i feel that they were physically very attracted to you yes but then there were challenges there were challenges and there were few things that were hidden were not told to you right were not told you they portrayed that they are your soulmate 
As per the clarifying cards, I see that they were more physically attracted towards you and they were hiding. They were things which were hidden from you, you were not aware about, but you got to know because of which there are a lot of challenges. Lot of challenges. Right now, their world is changing 360 degree. They want to come forward and speak to you, but then can they repair this particular connection? That is totally up to you, guys. Because when the physical attraction comes into the picture and if they have been hiding things because i see a third party you'll get to know about a third party here there has been a third party involvement there has been somebody else as well because of which this connection went for a toss and you are going to know whatever secrets or the hidden challenges were you're gonna know in coming few days itself that your person has been hiding this somebody they were involved with you feel backstabbed you feel wounded you feel a loss you feel abandoned by this person but i see you walking away to a bigger and better thing you're letting them go there has been a third party involvement and I feel there's a lot of physical attraction that they felt towards you because of which they came forward in your life. But then they were hiding so many things. They were already with somebody when they got involved with you. And when you got to know that can happen in coming few days or that can be happening right now, you're going to walk away. You're going to walk away. You're going to leave this connection totally and you will let them go. They will try to give you, uh, you know, they will try to take a control of the situation by emotionally blackmailing you, giving you things that, you know, why this thing happened, why they are not happy in their current situation, in their current relationship. But you won't listen to them. You will walk away. You will walk away. You're done with this backstabbing, betrayal, abandonment, cheating. You will walk away to a bigger and better relationship here. Right? You already have options, I see. And you're going to be focused and you're going to be moving towards one of them. You're going to be moving towards one of them. All right, guys, this is it. Do let me know how did you uh, find this particular reading love lust and loss and if you want me to get, uh, bring it more often do it more often for you all do leave me a comment do like share subscribe and do leave me a comment down below uh, whether this reading did resonate with you all most of you few of you or all of you do leave me a comment down below and i'm open for personal reading in case if one of you is interested or any one of you is interested you can reach out to me on my instagram page the description is in the box below Thank you so very much for tuning in to my channel. Hope you have a lovely day, night, evening, whichever part of this world you are in. Thank you. Bye-bye.